Let's take a look at how to estimate products of decimal numbers. Estimate the product, round each number to its greatest place value, then multiply. All right, so let's think about these directions. If we're rounding to the greatest place value, well, for this number, 34, we have a number in the tens place, three, and a number in the ones place, four. So the greatest place value would be the tens place. So I essentially want to round this to the nearest 10. So 34, I would round that down to 30 because notice the number in the ones place 4 is less than 5, which means I would keep it as a 3. So I'm going to round that to about 30. Okay, times, now if I look at this number, 1.2, I have a number in the ones place and I also have a number in the tenths place. So the ones place would be my greatest place value. So I want to round this to the nearest whole number. Well, 2 is smaller than 5, so I'm going to keep it as 1. So this would be about 1. So I'm going to say 30 times 1, which gives me 30, is a pretty close approximation. And remember, this squiggly equal sign means approximately equal to or about equal to. Okay, we're going to do the same thing, round each number to its greatest place value, then multiply. So for 23, I'm going to round this to the nearest 10, since the tens place is the biggest. Okay, so 23, I'm going to round that down to 20, because 3, the number in the ones place, is less than 5. So that means to keep this a 2. Okay, and then times, I have 3.5, so my greatest place value is the ones place. Since this 5 is 5 or higher, that means to round the 3 up to a 4. So I'm going to say this is going to be close to 20 times 4. And 20 times 4 would give us 80. So 80 should be a pretty close approximation for this question. Twelve times 8.6. Okay, well I'm rounding to the greatest place value. So for 12, I'm rounding that to the nearest 10. So that's going to round down to 10, right? Because 2 is less than 5, that means to keep this number a 1. Times 8.6. Well, here my biggest place value is the 1's place. So I'm either going to keep it an 8 or round it up to a 9. Well, notice the number after the decimal point is a 6. That's 5 or higher, so I'm going to round this up to 9. So I'm going to say 10 times 9, or 90, is a pretty close estimate or approximation. 12 times 8.7. Okay, well, we're rounding to the greatest place value. So 12, I'm going to round that to the nearest 10. That's going to round down to 10, right? Because 2 is 5 or less. That's telling me to keep the 1. Times 8.7, well, 7 is bigger than 5, that's telling us to round the 8 up to a 9. So I'm going to say 10 times 9, or 90, is a close approximation for this answer. 34 times 1.4. Okay, well we're rounding to the greatest place value. So for 34, I'm going to round that to the nearest 10. So that's going to round to 30. Right, 4 is smaller than 5, that's telling me to keep the 3, times 1.4. Okay, so I'm going to round that to the nearest 1. Well, 4 is less than 5, so that's telling me to keep it a 1. So I'm going to say 30 times 1, or about 30, is a close approximation. 36 times 1.3. Well, again, we're rounding to the greatest place value. So for 36, I'm rounding to the nearest 10. Now that 6 in the ones place is telling me to round the 3 up, so I'm going to round it up to a 4 and call that close to 40. For 1.3, my greatest place value is the ones place, so I'm going to round this to the nearest 1. So 3 is smaller than 5, that's telling me to keep it as a 1. So 40 times 1 would give me 40, that's a close approximation for this answer.